okay students our today's topic is climate now what is the meaning of the word climate actually climate refers to the sum of total weather conditions and the variations over a large areas for a long time of periods the period is approximately 30 to 35 years so that is called climate we all know that what is weather weather is a state of atmosphere at any point of a time or space it changes every moment to particular time period mein jo kisi bhi jagah ka टेम्परेचर होता है एटमोसफेयर होता है कंडीशंस होती हैं, उसे हम लोग वेदर कहते हैं वाई क्लाइमेट इज ऑल्सो अ वेदर इन विच वी एनालाइज वेदर ऑफ थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स लास्ट नाउ वट इज अ वेदर देन वेदर इज अ इज द स्टेट ऑफ एटमोसफेयर at any point of time and space it changes every moment while climate refers to the sum total of weather conditions and variation over a large areas for a long period of time that is 30 to 35 years second thing that the elements of weather are temperature atmosphere big pressure wind humidity and rainfall means uh, in weather the main main elements of weather are at a particular time of period are the what is the atmospheric pressure at a particular time of period the winds the total humidity how much humidity and what is the temperature at that particular time is called a weather while in climate elements of climates are the same as those of weather these are also same as weather here we analyze them for in a long time of year like 30 to 35 years now if you take the examples in weather then the examples are like today the weather is very cloudy windy aaj kafi hawa chal rahi hai the weather is very dry wet etc while in climate uh, the examples are like the climate of india is monsoon equatorial equatorial temperate frigid etc so this is how we differentiate the term weather and climate so if we see that what is the climate of india then as i told you that the climate of india is monsoon then why the climate of india is called a monsoon why india lies if we see the map of india then half of india lies in the torrid zone and the half of india lies in the temperate zone and the reason why india is, is called a temp monsoon climate because in the 6 months the southwest monsoon winds are running on india from southwest to northeast in the remaining 6 years these winds 
it goes just opposite direction that means from north east to south west so the whole year we see only one type of wind flowing in india and that is the monsoon wind that is why the climate of india is called a monsoon climate now india has a diverse climatic conditions now the factors or the elements which we take are the two elements for the climate or indian climate the first one is the most important is the temperature if we see the temperature of india then in india in summer there is a very high temperature approximately 50 degree centigrade temperature which is 30 degree centigrade temperature in rajasthan uh, in the desert area whereas around just 20 degree centigrade in kashmir region on the other hand during the winter season the temperature goes below 45 degree centigrade in kargil region of kashmir while at the same time the temperature is 20 degree centigrade in the south india like in tiruvananthapuram in so here we see a uh, diverse climatic conditions in, in india on the uh, other hand we take the places then the india lies as i told you that india lies in temperate zone and torrid zone so there are some places at the same time we see different different climatic conditions let us take the example during the winter season in the winter season in kashmir region there is a snowfall the temperature is minus 45 degree while at the same time in kerala we go to kerala then we see that the farmers are plowing paddy rice in their fields and bear just a lungi so this shows that how much uh, diverse climatic conditions are there in india same things this is the diverse conditions of the climate temperature same thing we see in the precipitation in precipitations we see in the upper himalayan parts it is in the form of snowfall and it is rain over the rest of the country the annual precipitation is also varies in india it is more than 400 cm in the eastern part of india while it is just 10 cm in jaisalmer rajasthan similarly we see the rainfall the most part of india gets rainfall the maximum rainfall india gets during the season in between june to september while there are some parts like tamil nadu which get rainfall during the winter season by the retreating of monsoon winds so now the question raised is that what are the climatic conditions which controls climate now the factor control climate are let us go one by one the first one is latitude obviously in the low latitude areas they get the direct sun rays and because of that this area low latitude area is very we see a high temperature in this area while in the high latitude areas the temperature is very low and in the polar area we see that the total the whole land area is covered with ice in the whole year so the latitude also affect the climate it also control the climate it depends that in which latitude a particular place is located the second thing which comes is the altitude the altitude or the height from the sea level also control the climate basically in the torrid zone we see that after every 165 meter above the temperature 
go down minus 1 degree centigrade and that is why we see glaciers in the high mountain region as i told you that this, this region is the region where the temperature is very high but if the examples which we take are the himalayas or the kilimanjaro mountains the high altitude areas of these mountains their their mountains are totally covered with ice the temperature is very low so the altitude is also affect that how much above the sea level is that particular land the next thing is the pressure and winds the movements of the wind if the like in this region the temperature is high obviously the pressure is low while in this region where the temperature is low then the pressure is high as we all know that the relation between the temperature and pressure is just opposite temperature is high then the pressure is low if the temperature is low then the pressure is high so because of the low pressures the winds goes from high to low regions and because these winds are cold winds so these winds also affect the temperature or the weather of that particular area so this is how we see the winds and the pressure also control the climatic conditions of that particular regions that which type of winds are coming in that regions now the next thing the next factor is distance from sea the land area which is near the sea as we know that land uh, become hot very soon and similarly become cold very soon why the water or the sea takes time to become warm and similarly it also take time to become cold so the area which are just nearer to sea here we see that the temperature is not high or not low the reason is that during the day time the cold winds of the sea comes from sea the, these winds comes from sea which are cold and the temperature does not uh, rose up while in the during the night time the temperature is very low in the land area but the temperature is not as low in the sea so the warm air comes from the sea because of this the temperature does not go very low in this area so the temperature of this area is moderate but as we go far from the sea we see that it's a moderating influence decreasing and the people experiences extreme weather conditions and this condition is known as continentally the next factor is ocean current the ocean currents along with onshore winds affects the climate of the coastal areas the best example we take is from the here we see in this map of the world this is great britain which is located in very high latitude areas as i told you that in the high latitude areas the temperature is very low and because of this the whole coastal region of europe does not work because the water or the sea of the ports of this region becomes ice and because of this the this region of europe become very cold but the london the port near to london the british ports uh, does not stops their work and the ships continue coming there and going from britain outside the reason is that britain the water near to britain does not freeze 
and that is just because of the warm current of gulf stream this current is warm and because of this current britain does not become cold so this is how we see that the climate also control the condition of a particular place like here in britain let us take the next one and that is relief obviously we all know region is a himalayan uh, sorry it's a mountain region then the high altitude areas are cold while the low altitude areas are hot as compared to the high high altitude areas similarly in india like it's the india and china the cold siberian winds does not come during the winter season in india and it it stop to freeze india during the winter season just because of the northern war himalayan war so the climate also affect if it is a plateau region then obviously the stone become warm very soon and because of this the area become a low pressure area in the plain regions we see that region is uh, a lot of forest in the plain regions and these forest attract clouds and we see high rainfall in these regions also so this is how the relief of a particular place also affect the climate it also control the climate so these six are the factors which controls a climate of a particular place that's all uh, that's all in today's part in the next part we will do the factors affecting india's climate and the climate of india that is the monsoon climate so we will do the indian monsoon that is the coming of monsoon and the going of monsoon thank you